Hello everyone, it's Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and welcome back. I've showed you my pantry before, so I thought it was time to show you a tour of all my non-perishables and toiletries and all of those type of things just because they are tucked all around the house and I thought it would just be helpful so you can see how I can stockpile and where I store those things. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. A lot of times I hear people say, well, I don't think I can do this. I don't really have great space or storage. I have been stockpiling when I was single in an apartment, when I was a newlywed and had babies in a tiny Cape Cod with no storage or no closets. And now we're a family of six and I have four kids and I still stockpile. So yes, my stockpile has grown. I do have a little more space in this house, but it's still spread out and tucked everywhere I can find space because I believe a stockpile is too important to not do. It's a great way for us to save money. So I hope by seeing this, it just gives you some different ideas of things not only you can stockpile and have on hand, but how I do it. It's no right or wrong. You do what works for you. You stockpile the things you and your family use and buy. That's the point of having a stockpile. Um, if you don't use it, don't add it to your stockpile. But I'm going to flip you around here. We'll start with some of my cleaning supplies and those type of things. So let me show you what I got. All right, this is a sh small shelf in my laundry room. It's right off my kitchen, right beside my washer and dryer here. And this is where I keep majority of our cleaning products and all sorts of different things. So I'll just go across quickly so you can see. I have toilet bowl cleaner, floor um, mopping solution, my dish soap. I figured out I go through about one bottle a month, a little bit, right around a month or so. It just went on sale for $1.49 at Kroger, so I restocked. I do have enough for a year. Same with toilet bowl cleaner. I'm sure I have enough there. The Dawn and vinegar is with laundry, things that I use there. My backup mopping, a bottle of Castile soap, and some flashlights. And then if you move down, I have a little bit of dusting and Windex. I got some refills back there. Fells Napa soap, which I use as my stain remover. And there's some more in that jar below. A little bit of miscellaneous cleaning supplies that I have there, laundry detergent, I have borax and washing soda. I do have some dryer sheets, which I don't use very often, just in the winter I use a half of one. Behind that, some OxyClean and Shout Color Catcher. I have more laundry soap that I, laundry detergent that I store in the basement and I just bring it up when I need it. So I always have one or two bottles there. And then just to show you, you can be creative and store things everywhere. I currently keep this box in the basement. I just brought it up, but this is where I keep all my backup bags and plastic wrap, wax paper, um, foil, parchment, parchment paper, any of those type of things. So I just keep them here together. And when I need one, I grab a box out and I put it in my um, kitchen cabinet where I store those normally. So that's a look at what I keep downstairs. Now I'll take you upstairs and show you where I store most of my toiletries. Okay, we are upstairs now, and this is our hall linen closet that we have. I love having this much space. I'm gonna just give you a quick overview here and then I'll go through it. But I will say it took me about four years of us living in this house to figure out how I wanted to organize and store things here. So this is what the hall closet looks like. It's great after coming from a Cape Cod with no closet space at all. So on the top shelf, we have a nebulizer we need occasionally for my kids, Q-tips, some seasonal candles, Kleenex. I try to stock up when they go about to dollar box. You can see I kind of have them stacked up here to the ceiling. Then I have a lot of our toilet paper. I do store some under the in each bathroom, but that's where I keep a lot of our toilet paper. We'll just go down the shelves here, then some extra storage bins and beach towels. These are really just um, pillowcases in that bin, sheets, extra sheets. Some are just top sheets or old sheets. I've saved some mattress liners for when kids get sick. I use those hair cutting supplies, lazy Susan. I found this. Um, on Amazon. I'll leave a link about a year ago. I absolutely love it. It fits my shelf perfectly, spins smoothly. And this is where we keep just kind of the medicine things we use frequently, triple ointment, band-aids. The kids can come in here and help themselves with band-aids, um, Pedialyte, some of our regular things. It's not low enough that our two-year-old can get into it, but still just 
handy, especially for the band-aids. Um, great Lazy Susan. Love it. A couple bins down here with first aid supplies, so more band-aids, and then travel toiletries. You know, you get those as you're traveling, so just soaps and shampoos. And then there's travel pillows, um, toiletry bags, and these are air mattresses I just store on the floor there. And then going over to the other side, another humidifier there. Like I said, some extra mattress pads down there. And then here's going up to all the bins. So I basically have three shelves of these bins, three shelves. I found these bins at Target and did this last summer, and I love the way it turned out. They're almost perfectly square, so they fit nicely on my shelf. I'm not wasting space. I can fit three on each shelf and still have a little room at the end. I'll leave a link to a similar box on Amazon if I can find one for you. But like I said, I got these at Target and love them. So I have one of toothpaste and toothbrushes. And if you pull them out, you can see they're pretty deep and they're just really all tossed in there. Those top couple loose ones were from a bulk box, I think of six. Then we have contact solution and these are kind of my things. So makeup and razor blades and face wipes, extra things. And then contact solution is in there at the bottom. Then we have feminine products and pads over there. In the far corner, some bubble bath and um, some satin hands in the back. Then going up to the next shelf, I have our bar soap stocked there. And then in the soap bin is all of our hand soap. And I tend to make our own foaming hand soap. So I have a variety of bottles in there. Next box is deodorant. And we are well stocked with probably a two-year supply there of deodorant or so. They sell it. My husband prefers Allspice, and it's a great deal at Sam's. That price has actually not increased, amazingly. And it will often go on special buy where it ends up being less than $2. It actually ends up breaking about $1.50 for each of those. And so that's when I buy it and stock us up. And then we have shampoo and conditioner. And when it fills up, I just toss them in there. But a variety of shampoo and conditioner for kids and adults. Vitamins, multivitamins, and different things there. Medicine, a variety of medicines, sunscreens, and bug spray. And then I have hair gel in the back there. And then it finishes up with some more towels. I have more stocked in our bathroom. But that is a look at where I store most of our toiletries right here. Like I said, a couple things are in the bathroom. But majority of the things, they're all in bins here, so everyone knows, especially my husband or kids, when they need something, they can just come and get it out of the closet. So it works out really well for us. All right, I came back downstairs where the light's a little better than an upstairs hallway. But there you have it. That's the tour of our cleaning supplies as well as the toiletries. I hope that's helpful to you just to see a little bit of what I stockpile and how I group it and organize it. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can do it on a, just a simple shelf or in bins. You can store them in your bathroom, in a bedroom closet, in a hall closet, wherever you have the space. Just go ahead, set aside some space and start building that stockpile for you and your family. I'd love to know what you keep in your stockpile, so be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have questions or want to learn more about stockpiling, I do have a whole playlist as well as a pantry tour and a stockpile tour coming too. So be sure to check those out and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and if you like this kind of thing and seeing tours of pantries and stockpiling and want to learn more with me, be sure to subscribe and I'll share with more with you coming up. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.